today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be about makeup. So I get asked a lot about what foundation I wear, what concealer I wear, uh, the lipstick that I've got on, so I thought I'd make a video. I'm going to do it in stages because when I filmed it all in one go, it was about half an hour long because I really like makeup. So today's is going to be foundation, concealer and powder. I have different types of foundation that I use depending on what mood I'm in, so I'll talk you through them all now. So the first one is a Revlon one, and this is just one that I use day to day, and that is Revlon Colour Stay for combination or oily skin. That is in the shade Medium Beige, and it's a 24 hour foundation. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is called Magic Foundation. It's one of the lighter ones that I wear, as in the finish and the coverage, and this is in shade Medium, which is number six. Then I tried this one. This one is called Bare Minerals Bare Skin, and it's Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. This has got an SPF 20 and it's in shade Natural Bare. I've tried Bare Minerals Powder Foundation before and it was a little bit too natural and a bit too light for me. I prefer, prefer a thicker coverage. So I tried this one thinking I wasn't going to like it and I actually really like it. You have to give it a good shake and it comes out quite runny but actually the coverage is really good. So if you haven't tried it you might want to check it out. Next is my second favourite foundation. So this is L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte. It is a mattifying foundation and I use the shade 20 which is sand. This doesn't budge. This has got quite a medium texture but a very high coverage. So it's absolutely perfect if you want that non-cakey matte appearance and that stays on forever. You literally have to uh, scrape it off at the end of the night. So I can highly, highly recommend that for a cheaper version of my number one foundation. So my number one foundation is of course Double Wear. I think most girls have tried Double Wear. I have the shade um, Desert Beige, which is 2N1, and they say that this is a medium coverage to high coverage. I'd say it's high coverage. Um, it's a very long lasting foundation and it just gives you that real smooth, flawless appearance. But because it is so thick, you have to take it off. So if you're one of those girls that likes to roll in drunk and not take her makeup off, this isn't gonna be for you. Some people struggle with it if they have got bad skin because it is so thick. I can also recommend Double Wear Light. So if you've not tried Double Wear Light, it does give a very, very similar coverage, but the consistency is a lot lighter. So highly, highly recommend that one. So, foundation brushes, um, I just put it on with my fingers normally, so I don't tend to use all these different fancy brushes. Um, years and years ago, there, there weren't brushes, people put makeup on with their fingers. But sometimes I do use a beauty blender, or I have a Charlotte Tilbury foundation brush, which is the Magic Complexion. Um, which I do really like and I've also tried all these little weird brushes so I've got a full set of those just because you see them on Instagram and you think well if everyone else is using them I need them but to be really honest I don't use them very often if I was going out for a night out I'd probably make the effort and use them so that's foundation Concealer, I have different ones. I have the Double Wear um, Glow, which is a BB highlighter. So this one is in shade 2C, which is light medium, and that's more of the pen style. That's more to brighten the under eye circles rather than conceal. So I use that along with another concealer. So I have got a few concealers, and you'll have to excuse the state of them because I've lost the lid or broke them. But one is a MAC one, and that is NC15, which is their Studio Finish Concealer. And the other one, which these are quite thick, is the um, Light Medium Concealer from The Balm. So both of those are really good if you want a thick concealer. If I'm just going to the gym and I'm not doing um, makeup, but I've got a bit of a blemish that I want to cover up, I just use the Maybelline Cover Stick, so that's just really quick to cover up any unsightly spots. Or the Holy Grail of concealer, um, really, really cheap. It's just the um, Collection 2000 Last in Perfection, and this is in shade Fair. So this is more like a wand, but everybody blogs about this concealer because it's so cheap but really good. So if I do need a thicker concealer, I use Tarte, and this one is meant to be a creaseless concealer. Now, I can't say that that's true. It is full coverage, but when I tried it under my eyes, because I am older than the average YouTube beauty blogger, 
I do get um, creases under my eyes and I do find the thicker the concealer the worse it is. So it was okay under my eyes but it did still crease. Um, I prefer to use this more on any imperfections. So my favourite concealer, which is a really cheap one, is this one which is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eye Eraser. So this one actually um, perfects and covers your under eye area. So this will help um, cover up any dark circles and it also helps with the fine lines as well. So I really, really like it. I get mine in shade light because when you conceal, ideally you should be using a lighter shade than your own skin tone. So last then, let's come on to powder. Um, I have a handbag powder and a getting ready powder. So my handbag powder um, has a mirror in it and it's just a cheaper version normally. So this one is the Max Factor Facefinity Compact Foundation Powder and that's in shade 3 which is natural and that's got um, SPF 15 and the thing I like about these is that they come with the sponge as well so that's really handy. Um, my getting ready powder is another popular one amongst beauty bloggers and this is Laura Mercier. So this is a translucent powder so you have to tap it into the lid and then use a brush and then just sweep it over your face. I do find it's really good at setting makeup um, so I do recommend that. But I also really, really like this one, which is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and this is their Airbrush Flawless Finish in number two. It's classed as a micro powder, so although it's really, really fine, it's still a pressed powder. Now, these more expensive ones need to take note, because these don't come with a sponge. They come with a mirror, and they look pretty, but there's no sponge. So, last but not least, if I just want a cheap, quick lift under my eyes um, Collection 2000 this is their pressed powder in ivory so that's really good if you haven't got a lot of time to contour and you just want to use something quick and easy so those are my foundation my concealer and my powder tips so I hope you enjoyed that quick makeup video coming up next I will be doing my lipsticks my mascaras I've also got eyeshadows blushes primers highlighters skincare so more videos will be coming soon so if you like watching these sort of videos, don't forget to click subscribe or give it a quick like because that really supports my channel. Have a fantastic day!